Hello everyone, welcome to VP Advanced. In this video, we are going to add another muscle to Microsoft Excel. So, Bismillah Rahman Rahim, let's go to the next muscle, and that is the library. I talked about VBA dictionary when we I was talking about reserve words and variables in the first series that was VBA basic. And that dictionary ha had certain collection of commands and th th those commands were related to Microsoft Excel. So now what we are going to do is we are going to add more commands to Microsoft Excel and that will add more muscle to Microsoft Excel. The so let's go and see how this reference library which uh, is added to Microsoft Excel and remember uh, dictionary was the layman's term. Uh, I just use that to give you an understanding, but libraries uh, are referred as a library are the technical terms and in VBA it is called reference. So let's go and see these libraries, references or the dictionaries, whatever it's for, for you to understand. So let's go to our developer Visual Basic. This is the Visual Basic editor. And if you can see, I hope you can see. So you can see uh, in the tools, we have gone through these uh, menus, but uh, for your understanding, in the tools, uh, this is the references. These are the references. If I go to these references, you can see there are number of libraries. These all are the libraries. These are the Visual Basic libraries installed on my computer by different programs. And I can call these libraries into Microsoft Excel. And these libraries will increase the power of Microsoft Excel many folds and today we are going to talk about mainly Microsoft Office object library. This version can be different on your computer, doesn't matter, but we are going to talk about this Microsoft object library. You need to enable it. Uh, uh, you can use, all you need to you do is select the library to increase the power of Excel. You can see there are a number of uh, libraries. For example, this is Microsoft OneNote, then Outlook, then SharePoint, then Visual Studio. What these all are the software that are present in my computer, and uh, these software have added the Visual Basic libraries to my computer, and I can use these libraries on this computer. So these all libraries can uh, increase power of my uh, Microsoft Excel. For example, today we are going to use the Microsoft Office Object Library. So what this can do, this will, this will give me access to the operating uh, operating level. So this will give me power to the operating software level that is Windows itself. For example, I have few commands. Let me zoom a bit so that you can read it. So these are the commands. Think about this. Uh, you don't need to type or anything. I will leave them uh, in the description. So first command will check if the folder exists. The second will create a folder. The third will delete a folder. The next, this will move a folder. This is file copy as we do in Windows. And this will copy a folder and this kill this file will delete this, delete the file. So this is the muscle I am, I have just added to Microsoft Excel that it can go and touch the operating system and uh, we can uh, code the code Microsoft Excel to uh, to uh, use the operating system commands. 
so think about the power that lies in your hands now like i uh, once i searched my hard drive for the duplicate files and deleted uh, all the duplicates by just keeping one copy this i did this in vba because this is the language i know and instead of uh, going and trying to find some software that will do it for myself i just co i just uh, coded this in vba and did it with the with the help of this muscle i am talking about uh, I am uh, trying to communicate. So let's go to and see what I have in my hard drive. First of all, you can see that my um, uh, recycle bin, bin is empty. And if I go to my C, where is C? Here is C. So in C, I have a temp folder. Uh, sorry, in C, I have no backup folder, right? So if I go to my Excel, where is Excel gone? Here it is. Let's close this. I don't want this. And where is the other file? Here it is. So, so in C, where is C? Here it is. Let me zoom out a bit. This is C, you can see there is no backup folder and we have to zoom out, sorry. Yeah. This is a better view. So, you can see that I don't have a backup one folder in my C drive. So, let's use this command, go to VBA. Insert a module sub v test and copy this command. So I have this command that is going to create a folder in C as backup one. We don't have backup one here. So let's execute. And you can see backup one appearing right at the bottom. And now I have a folder backup one. So if I move it this one a bit here and yeah okay so let's delete this instead of create folder let's delete folder C backup one here it goes it is just disappeared and it is not in the recycle bin okay so I created a folder I deleted it without using uh, recycle bin. So let's create this folder again. Create folder backup one. Here I have backup one. Let's copy a few files in this. And this is let's copy this into where is backup one. So it is sorted now. Here it is. Let's paste it. And it's going to take a few seconds. Here it is. So if I take right click properties, so this one has 746 files, 746 files. So let's try to delete this folder. So let's delete this folder, but I have a problem and the problem is permission denied i don't have access to this command to delete all the files okay what should i do i want to delete them i use another command which you have already learned on error oh on error resume next delete what you can delete okay no error but let's right click and take the properties again where is that 
properties now or this is hidden somewhere where it is why can't i take the properties minimize minimize is it hidden somewhere i am not sure this sh this should be working as there should there is an another window showing the properties but it's not appearing so let's close this we uh, recall that last time it was 746 and let's take the properties again now yeah this time this is 702 files so the, that command could delete 40 files and it has deleted them so let's go to backup one and delete this and let's create few files right click new folder another folder uh, new text document new excel new word now i know there is no system file so i should be able to delete them if i take the properties of backup one now now this has three files and two folders let's try to delete it where is my vb this is excel and uh, this is again excel it is here it is and there is my backup one folder so let's delete it without using error resume so let's run this command and try to delete this folder it is and it is gone backup one is gone and it is not in the recycle bin so think about it what just happened I created a folder, I deleted it, I deleted it with even restrictions, uh, I uh, deleted the files uh, that I could delete, I deleted the whole folder with, without sending it to recycle bin. So think about the power you have. Okay, so these are the commands. Uh, the first command will check if the fol folder already exists. Second will create, third will delete, this will move folder, this will copy folder, this will this will delete file, this is file copy, copy this to this. These commands give you power, but what is the practical use of these? I use these commands. I use these commands to automatically create a backup file every day when I start working. I will not have to go and copy files um, to create a backup. Excel will automatically create a backup for me every day, once in the morning. Not every time it opens, but once in the morning with the help of these commands. So think about what you can do with these commands. And, um, and be very careful when you use these commands because you see that once you delete a folder or delete a file, it will not even go to recycle bin so if it is not in recycle bin so it's gone and uh, yeah you can create a virus with that you can damage data for yourself and for the others so <laughs> try don't try to do it and talking about viruses so you know what virus does virus uh, multiplies it uh, moves from from one pc to another pc and then uh, it tries to delete files so think about if i invoke in the visual basic uh, in the tools in the references i invoke this library that is called where it is microsoft and we are going to use that library too but not today not today Microsoft Outlook, where is Outlook? Okay. Outlook Object Library. Microsoft Outlook Object Library. So once I call this 
library into Microsoft Excel, I can use all Outlook commands within Microsoft Excel. Think about it. If I access the global address book by using the Outlook commands and send this workbook to every user present in the global address book, and then I delete all the files that I can delete on the user's hard disk. And the recipient of that email, once he clicks and opens that workbook, same thing happens to his computer. His global address book is, is called and the workbook is sent to all the email recipients and then the user's data is deleted. This is a virus. It multiplies, it damages data. So you have to be very careful. That's why Microsoft or Excel is asking you again and again. You want to enable the content. Do you want to uh, save as XLSM? You have received a file on email. Be cautious about it. It can contain a harmful code and that code can run when we open a workbook. And once it is open, we can, it, the code will be executed by simply mouse movement. So be very critical about it. And uh, whenever you have a file from email, it is always better. It is always better not to enable the content. Go and see first what is the code in the modules and the, uh, how this, uh, in the sheets in the, in this workbook, uh, read that code and then decide whether you want to enable it or not. So this is the muscle uh, uh, we talked about today and the muscle of Outlook we will talk about later. So try all these uh, commands. I will leave these in description and uh, I hope you will find good use, good practical use of these commands. If you like the concept, if you learned something new, think about giving this video a thumbs up.